This is a video that will help you set up proportions for what I call up-downs. Now up-downs is just a fancy name for percent increase and percent decrease problems. I've written a double number line on the top of this page. I want you to notice that the numbers I've written down go from 0 to 125 and they're getting larger as I go from left to right. It's also important to understand that there are numbers that are less than 0 and those numbers are going to be to the left of 0 on the number line. There are also numbers that are greater than 125 and those numbers are going to be to the right of 125 on the number line. Here's a table that's going to help you set up proportions for up-down problems. I want you to notice that my percents are in the bottom and my amounts are on the top. In the middle of my percent row I have 100 percent and directly above that I have my original amount. If my new amount increases it's going to be to the right of my original amount because numbers are getting larger as I go from left to right. If my new number is less than my new original amount then my new number is going to be to the left of the original amount because as I go from right to left numbers are getting smaller on a number line. Let's look at a problem. The problem I'm going to do is 25 is my original number and 42 is my new number. To do these problems the first thing I always do is make my double number line and I label the bottom of my double number line percents and the top of my double number line amounts. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my original amount above 100, so that's 25, and my new amount is either going to go here or over here. Since 42 is bigger than 25, I'm going to put my new amount over there. Now I want to find out how much I've increased from 25 to 42. The way I can do that is just subtraction. 42 minus 25 is 17. So I know that I've gone up 17 from 25 to get to 42. Notice that 25 plus 17 is equal to 42. Now there are a couple different proportions I can make here. And I'm going to show you which one you want to use for a percent increase or decrease problem or an up-down problem. One of the proportions I can solve is this one right there. 25 over 100 is the same as 42 over x. I'm going to solve this problem if I want to find out the percent 42 is of 25. But that's not what I'm looking for in this problem. I want to find my percent of increase. So the proportion I'm going to use is that one right there. 25 over 100 is equal to 17 over x. And when I solve that problem or proportion, I'm going to get my percent of increase.